This is an absolutely fabulous little question because it looks really hard and yet in actual fact, if you know the trick, it is really easy. Okay, so let's get going. What is the sum of all of the values of A for which the Diophantine equation, we're told it's a Diophantine equation, has a solution. Okay, so here's the Diophantine equation. Um, and what they're saying is whether it has a solution, what they mean is, does it have an integer solution? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are clearly, because of this title here, we're going to use the rational root theorem. Now, what the rational root theorem says is that if we have a polynomial, uh, cn x to the n, add cn minus 1, x to the n minus 1, da, 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 add c 0 equals 0. If all of the coefficients are integers, i.e. all of the c are integers, and if there is a rational solution, uh, let's call it p over q, where p and q are co-prime, i.e. we have got rid of all of the common factors of p and q, then p is an integer factor of c0 and q is an integer factor of cn i.e. p divides c0 and q divides cn. Now we're not looking for rational solutions here because we're told this is a Diophantine equation so we're only looking for integer solutions. Now an integer therefore by definition q is going to be 1 so we can ignore that part of the rational root theorem and this part and all we're left with is that in order to have an integer solution P must divide C0. So let's just rewrite our question 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus ax as minus 3 equals 0. And then we have here our C0 in our polynomial is minus 3. And so therefore, by the rational root theorem, we know that x can only be minus 3, minus 1, 1, or 3, which are the four factors of minus 3. So all we need to do now is stick each of these values into our equation and find out what the value of a must be. So let's say when x is minus 3, we know that is a solution uh, because of the rational root theorem. Then we got uh, minus 50. So all I'm doing now is I'm sticking minus 3 into here. So that gives us minus 54, minus 45, add 3. I've just got to be careful with the negatives. Minus 3 equals 0 i.e. a equals um, 54 minus 45, 1 and 2 divided by 3, uh, 34. When x equals minus 1, we have minus 2, minus 5. Again, just putting minus 1 as the solution in here. Uh, add a minus 3 equals 0, i.e. a equals 10. When x equals 1, okay, nice and easy one, don't have to worry with the negatives, 2 minus 5 minus a minus 3 equals 0, i.e. a equals minus 6. And then finally, x equals 3. These are the only four possible integer solutions, remember, of the uh, equation. Uh, we have uh, 54 minus 45 minus 3a minus 3 equals 0, i.e. a equals... Uh, 9 6, minus 3, 2. Okay, so these are the only four possible x values, and therefore these are the only four a values. And all we need to do, the question asks us, what is the sum of all the values of a for which the Diophantine equation has a solution? Well, the Diophantine equation, this one, only has a solution for these four x values, and a must be these values for these four x values. So 34 out of 10, minus 6, Add 2 is 40. So the sum of all of the A's is 40. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.